nonsense. It is not that complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home? I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. ...to see them more clearly. have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds.
prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Fate governs all humankind, but I am the defier of death. I am not bound by these forces. All threats are measured. Everything dies. Even ancient Ymir, whose fertile carcass gave birth to the Nine Worlds. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? Survey the area, Sudan.
take you from?
must devise a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of... Blue is balls. We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together we'll cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotna heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Ein Herjar! Here is the battle you died to attain! For Heavy and for Asgard! Jotunheim <laughs> scum! Welcome to your doom! With me, the rest of you guard the great hall. <laughs> With me, I gift this battle to myself.
Lord will fall! Not while I stand! What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jotun. Wait, no. You're, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your son be the same if the Jotna had won this fight? Yes, of course. Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. What is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. 
This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Avi. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. Do you see?
Eivor, awake so soon? Yes, the fog cleared suddenly. I can speak of what I've seen, but I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will, when I'm ready. Show me.
or my brother! Die! And your blades and your wits. We will go a pillaging, we will. Well, a long way from home, Norseman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my sixty winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all. And you? Make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend! Yes! Bring all! <laughs> we'll need to repair weapons and shields. But you have no blacksmith. Ah, nonsense! Black Bjorn is about somewhere. He's our man. No end of preparations we must do. Start where you will. Alvar is an old fool trying to live his dream. But when do we bring in the harvest? Mm -hmm. Survey the area, Sudan. Why you ain't in the business of helping you? Dear man, would you live under Edwin's boots? That's okay. This is where you will be if these supplies reach her castle. 
I'd give them over to any... It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. The guards here are vigilant. I need your eyes, my friend. What was that?
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods, or could he be a god himself? You've spent too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. 
Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he is no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Folge. It's time I regroup with Gidrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Just about this life, my friend. Edwin's men, they're after us. You there, what's wrong? Here they come! Quick men, or they'll wipe us out! Why all the sights die? Out. We have this! Grateful to you. See you, old friend. What do you see, Sunan? going on?
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 